hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Aisha I'm better known as the bougie mommy the bougie baby is at daycare today so I'm just on my lunch break and I'm about to show you guys how to make some homemade hot chocolate that's right you heard it here first I have never heard of homemade hot chocolate well I'm not gonna say I haven't heard of it but I never knew how to make it and I know y'all think oh the best hot chocolate is um Hershey's or nettle nettle nesties whatever they call it out the um box but no homemade is always better so i'm gonna give you guys the ingredients and show you how to make the best homemade hot chocolate and you can use this recipe for snow days on your way to work if you're not a coffee drinker like me if you just drink tea maybe some homemade hot chocolate will keep you warm um you know during the holidays christmas morning whatever the case hot chocolate is the best for all of that so stay tuned and i'm going to show you guys the ingredients guess what time it is so what you're gonna need first is a crock pot um let me show y'all how big my crock pot is and i'm sorry that it's so huge look how big this is so <laughs> we're gonna make do with what we got what you're gonna need a crock pot you're gonna need some sweet and condensed milk you're gonna need some actual like chocolate chips you're gonna need well you're gonna want marshmallows you don't need them you can do the little mini soft ones or you can do the hard uh crispy ones i couldn't find those i'm gonna see if i can put them in the um oven or something to see if i can get them crispy you're gonna need some milk i don't do dairy i do rice milk almond milk and all that stuff so your uh, preference of milk is completely up to you but i would recommend if you don't want something that's like too sweet and too much of like a different flavor that can change the the taste of your uh, hot chocolate you're gonna want to do rice milk and you're gonna need some um vanilla extracts and last but i need look what what not editing that look this is in real time last but not least you're gonna need some heavy whipping cream so um going on with the ingredients it's going to be again one cup of your chocolate chips you're going to need milk three and a half cups of your milk milk of your choice you're going to need a half a can of this um sweet and condensed milk you're going to need one um, tablespoon, or is it teaspoon? One teaspoon. I had to write it down, y'all. Look, pregnancy brain is still a real thing. Moms, if y'all are still suffering from pregnancy brain, let me know, drop it in the comments. But one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So this is imitation vanilla, look, whatever floats your boat. Um, and again, the marshmallows, and then how much of this? Oh, a half a cup of this heavy whipping cream. And your heart pot, so let's get started. All right, so moving right along, we're going to need one cup of hot, if I can get it open, goodness grief, one cup of hot chocolate. No, I need a new measuring cup. One cup of this. I don't know how much it makes by servings, y'all, so don't, look, don't count me out. But one cup of that, three and a half cups of milk, all right so that's two cups and yeah turn your um crock pot on the first thing you should do is turn your crock pot on low l o w explanation point times 10 low 
You can already have it warmed up or you can just let it, you know, I chose not to warm it up because I don't want to put the chocolate in there and let it immediately start cooking. Three, and then look. I'm gonna just go ahead and use this. Is this a half a cup? Cause look, that's taking too long. Half a cup. All right, three and a half cups of that. And then you're gonna need a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Don't forget to mix it all up. Half a cup of that. I like to rinse, I don't like to mix my stuff. That's super weird. You're gonna need your one teaspoon. Y'all, I used to have a little teaspoon. Is it a teaspoon on this thing? One fourth of a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, one teaspoon. Okay, don't mix up teaspoons and tablespoons. That's what I have a habit of doing, mixing up teaspoons and tablespoons. Don't be like the bougie mommy. Read directions, one teaspoon of that. Bam, but I'm gonna do two. I like to be extra I love vanilla so we're gonna make that two of those and then make sure that's one low and then hold on I gotta open up this heavy whipping cream sorry guys I should have been more prepared I'm not gonna even begin to tell y'all how long it just took me to open up this can because my can opener wanted to act funny but you're gonna pour in half a can of your sweet and condensed milk And the last step is to just immediately start whisking it up. As you can see, it's already like melting. If you don't have like a whisker thing, you can go ahead and just use a, a Kool-Aid spoon or some sort of mixing spoon. Um, it's super weird because I would have thought that you would have used sugar, but I guess the sweetener comes from obviously the chocolate and then the sweetened condensed milk. Um, I've heard of people using sugar. I've heard of people using brown sugar. I've heard of people using like sugar cane. So this has to be on for two hours on low. So uh, every so often come back in and come and let me just go ahead and put that back on me so y'all not talking to my hands. But anyway, I'm talking and whisking because as a mom, you have to learn to multitask. But anyways, yeah, so this is gonna be on for two hours. Um, I'm gonna come back in every like 10 to 15 minutes and just get to stirring so that it doesn't stick to the, the crock pots. Um, this is supposed to be non-stick, but you know, people just be saying stuff for advertising that doesn't necessarily mean it's non-stick and we do not want nothing wasted. We want every bit of chocolate for this hot chocolate, y'all, because clearly that's the main ingredient. So I will be back um, in a few minutes to uh, check in and show you guys what uh, progress we have made. Oh, and don't forget to uh, put your lid on. Again, it's gonna be here on low. And as you are letting that uh, sit, don't forget to clean as you go. So while this is sitting, I'm gonna go ahead and put all my ingredients up. I'm gonna clean off the counter so that when it's time to serve and enjoy, all we're gonna do is serve and enjoy. That's what I like to do. So clean as you go. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes. And the chocolate is still not all the way melted. We're about halfway there. Again, this is going to probably need to be on for two hours max. I'm thinking this may be done a little sooner being that my crock pot is kind of bigger. But again, you want to cook it on low. You want the, you want this to slow cook like some hot grits on the stove in the south. Um, yeah, just keep stirring. So I'll be back to check in in another 30 minutes and see what progress we have made. Five hours later, I'm back. Back again. And the hot chocolate is done two hours later. Don't rush the process. So really quickly, I want y'all to just see what it looks like. Voila, magic. Very pretty. So I decided to go with this cup because I don't want to get too hot, too relaxed and too comfortable. And I still got like an hour left of work. So I'm using this cute little spoon here. Hold on, let me just show y'all how I'm doing this. Okay, so just scooping like some soup. Clearly, I'm making a mess. Looks like I'm making some porridge. You see why I didn't want to use the big cup? Because I will be scooping forever. Crock pot is too big to just pour. So. 
Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to clean this up with a little towel. All right, and then got my little marshmallows. Just pour these in. Ah, fill it up with marshmallows. Yay! Can y'all see that? Not me asking, can y'all see that? Like, y'all can literally talk back to me. But this is my hot chocolate homemade hot chocolate you saw it here first good morning gorgeous can y'all see this like this is really pretty the details are just sending me i wish i had some chocolate drizzle i don't even like chocolate for real but i would definitely use a cute little chocolate drizzle you know what hold on let me do this real quick how about i pour some on top oh pretty pretty that'll do it that'll do it all right and this is my homemade hot chocolate of course y'all know i got to do the taste testing because i'm the taste tester Oh, and I let it cool down a little bit so I ain't burn my lips off. Because this is on live and I would hate to be like Michael Jackson when his Jerry Curl set on fire. Y'all not catching me. I ain't going outside like that. No ma'am, no him. So yeah, this is my hot chocolate. Again, my name is Aisha. I'm the Bougie Mommy. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell me what you think. And I hope that this is a, um, a good idea for you guys to make hot chocolate. No longer doing the box stuff. We're doing everything homemade all 2023. Enjoy!